I do not want to look crazy the rest of the day, so I'm actually going to go in with the L'Oreal and fix this side. <laughs> Hi everyone, Wygo Warrior here, aka Julie, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the e.l.f. Waterproof Length and Volume Mascara. I recently did a e.l.f. haul um, video taking advantage of their um, March 2020 spring sale where items were 60% off. This mascara was not part of that sale but I did make the purchase at that time this mascara is four dollars keep watching if you're interested in learning more about elf waterproof length and volume mascara all right let's get started I'm gonna do one eye with my holy grail mascara so we can compare how the elf waterproof mascara works it was very windy right there we have the elf waterproof length and volume mascara which I will be putting on my left eye and my holy grail is the L'Oreal lash paradise voluminous waterproof mascara which I will be putting on my right eye this way I can get a true comparison. So before I put mascara on, I always curl my eyelashes. This is just a, I think it's a Shop Miss A. I never spend more than $3 on a, a lash curler because honestly, I see no difference between a more expensive one and a more affordable. Okay. So let's go in first with the L'Oreal Lash Paradise because I know what this is going to look like. I tend to start at the base, do a little wiggle back and forth. I also tight line a little bit with the mascara itself. Um, it's waterproof so I find that that works good for me. And I don't worry if I get a little above my lashes. I, I use um, liquid eyeliner so that will disguise it. I can also go in with uh, some tissue and I roll that up into a fine point and can clean up as well. So I'm going to do one coat first so we can compare. Now let's go in with the e.l.f. Waterproof Length and Volume Mascara. First off, I'm not a big fan of the brush. It's a lot smaller. Let me show with the brush on the L'Oreal. It's a lot bigger, fluffier. It's like hourglass shaped. I do have a full video on the L'Oreal mascara, which I will link in the eye, I believe here. All right, time for the Elf mascara. Um, already, since the brush is a lot smaller, I'm gonna—I know I'm gonna have to go spend a little extra time trying to get the mascara on. Lumpiness off. Right off the bat, I can tell it's probably due to the brush more so than the formula that I'm not getting as much volume. I'm trying to give it a fair shot. Mm. 
I'm going to zoom in. I already can tell the mascara looks much nicer on the L'Oreal side. But for four dollars, it'll do in a pinch, but honestly, I would rather spend an additional five dollars. I think I think this costs around nine dollars, eight ninety nine, ten ninety nine. Can get it on sale. Um, to me it's not worth it the lower price point in an inferior product. That's my opinion. Okay, let's go in with a second coat. And honestly, the L'Oreal was good enough. I could have gotten away with just one coat. Let's go in with a second coat of the e.l.f. The L'Oreal actually maintained the curl of my eyelashes, whereas the e.l.f. did not. Gonna go in on the bottom lashes. I find the shape of this wand hard to get bottom lashes. It's very bulbous in the center, it's short and squatty. Try to go windshield wiper style. This mascara, it's a hard pass for me. All right, we will do bottom lashes with the L'Oreal. There you go. So this is a very quick video. My uh, personal impression and review is the Waterproof Length and Volume Mascara from e.l.f. This is a hard pass. Thank you so much for stopping by. I do appreciate every one of you who um, watches my videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you're notified of future videos. Thank you.